Hello everyone, I'm Greg Weaver. Welcome to The Audio Analyst. The first weekend in March saw me attending the end of a week-long press event held by and at GTT Audio and Video of Long Valley, New Jersey, to celebrate their appointment as the U.S. importer and distributor of Vivid Audio. Now, on hand for the event, which I documented in March 12th's episode 113, was Vivid Audio's international brand manager, Awald Verkirk. Now, Awald also happens to be the brand manager for Holland's Mola Mola Electronics. And as such, there was a secondary interest and focus uh, for me, from my perspective, because Mola Mola's latest creation, the Lupe Phono Stage, was on hand for a first listen. Now, I will admit to having been looking forward to the introduction of the standalone Lupe Phono preamplifier since it was announced because of the remarkable performance I'd experienced listening to the optional a la carte phono stage options installed first with the Makua line stage and then from the more recent introduction of the Kula integrated amplifier. In fact, if you go back to watch GTT's episode 43 from August 26th of 2021, you will plainly see and hear my reaction to the remarkable phono stage performance delivered by the Kula integrated. Now, Bill and Awald made some time to talk about the Lupe with me when I was there for the Vivid event. So, let's see what they have to share about this remarkable new phono preamplifier from Mola Mola. All right, everybody. We're still in uh, Long Valley, New Jersey. Still at GTT. Awald's about to leave, so we're going to get some time with him before he has to leave here for the day. The, uh, the new phono stage from yes. Mola Mola, the Lupe which I heard initially as the installed card in the Kula Integrated. In the Kula Integrated yeah. and the Makua preamplifier, yeah. yes. Um, I was pretty taken with it. Um, now, this thing has three inputs? Four. I'm and sorry, it has four a, inputs. It a set of, turn it around. Yeah, we'll three. put some close-ups on the screen. It has a set of XLRs and three sets of RCA, so okay. it'll do four. Couple of tables with the, sure. you know, up to four arms. Yeah. It'll do up to four arms. At and it once. has two outputs. It has XLR in, single and out. Yes, which okay. you can switch between them. Say if you have your RCAs going to your main system, to your phono preamp, and your, or no, this is the phono preamp, yes. to your line, yes. to your to line, line stage, stage. Yeah. and the XLRs go into a head amp. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah. And then, you know, or you can run them both if you want or, to. Or time. you can run them simultaneously. Yeah. It's it's and then it has a trigger, a DC trigger to send out or, or receive to, to receive and, from and the turn on. system turn on. Yeah. It's it's really a phenomenal piece. It is. And one of the more interesting things, um, you want to talk about the equalization options this thing offers? Sure, there's seventy two of them. And 70. by the way, there's there's an app there's an app that you run everything from. Right. Okay, I just wanted to do a uh, quick rundown of the Moa Moa Lupe. I go to my Moa Moa app, so it's connecting. So we've got these different presets. They, these represent the four buttons on the faceplate. As you click it, you can hear the relays changing. So first of all, in the sprocket here, you can adjust the the display brightness, the LED brightness, the ignore other remotes. You can check for updates. Now we've got, uh, okay, so say we're going to uh, do preset one. And we're going to call this, so it's Kronos. And then I've got that plugged into input one. And my output, I want RCA. I can, as you see, you can uh, say I have RCA for my main system, XLR for my uh, headphone system, and then I can do XLR and RCA if I want them both active at once. So I've done that. Now I can come down and switch between moving magnet or moving coil. I'm on moving coil. I want my resistance. I can go from 60 to 1K 
on the moving coil side, on the moving magnet, I can go from 18K to 120K. But I'm going to set this to 100 ohm. My gain sensitivity, I can go from 52 dB down to 87 dB. I'm going to set it around 62 dB. Now my equalization presets. I can do a custom where I can make adjustments here. I can do everything RIAA. And then I can do any and every any and every studio pre-1972. They are all there. You can do 78 RPM or go back to RIAA. We have a mono switch. We've got a subsonic filter. And you can do triggers on, on, and off. And I go back there and my input is Kronos. Now I can do edit this and do, let's just call it uh, Walker. And now it's a Walker. Right? Or if you had different cartridges, you can name them. But in, in this, I can go back and I can do input 2. I can do RCA. I can make this a moving magnet. Now I can, I can do this at uh, 120K. I can load it at 220 picofarads. And there I go. And that's the app. It's also, it has separate boards for moving magnet. That's moving right. Coil. Yep. So it's a yeah, it's a, it's a moving Completely magnet isolated or boards. moving coil. Every single input can be either or. Uh, each one is individually configured. Um, there's uh, it, oh, an infinite amount of gain. Yeah. Well, it runs from like like forty eight to seventy. Eight or something? 80, maybe even in the 80s. There's, it's, it's there's what, like, I think there was eight or ten different game settings. Yeah, there, it was there ridiculous. Was, there was a whole lot. The versatility is pretty much as good, and the fact that you can do it from your chair well, while you're listening. Yes, you can really, you can really I mean, you dial, can dial it, it in. Any cartridge, any toner. Uh, uh, an important thing to note is it's not digital. It's 100% analog. It's all done. The app runs on a Bluetooth module that then controls, controls the switch resistors and switching relays. and everything. Yeah, as you're making the changes, you, you can hear you, the relays. You, you hear it. You yeah. hear it clicking. And we're we're giving you all this technology <coughs> that uh, Bruno Putzi's uh, described as an archival grade phono stage, and we're bringing it in at under ten thousand. That's the real dude. That's. Um, you know, I, I've recently had eighty thousand dollar photo stages in my yeah. house. I've had, I've lived with twenty thousand dollar stages for a long time. Um, what this does, I'm dying to get this. And by the way, we'll be coming. You'll get a full review. Nine thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars in the U.S. Ridiculously yeah. good price. Yeah. I'm, okay, yes, it's not cheap, but it's way cheaper. Well, and what it competes with? Yes, that's the that's thing. the thing. From what I heard here, it's going to present some competition. To some very price Our models. tagline since 1995 is to bring value at a price point. Yeah. This, all, all the stuff I carry lives up to it. That's but true. This truly, truly. Well, you know, I'm pretty much special. a living testament to that because I, I end up owning a lot of the stuff that I've heard here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, what else do you want to talk about with the MOA product that we didn't hit on? I think it's exciting as hell and I can't wait to get it in my room. I think. Um, what most people don't get is the infinite possibilities posed with the handheld. Um, we all know that having three or four gains, uh, four, three or four equalization settings at your disposal means getting on your knees, yeah. getting it out, Flipping finding the bit switch, <laughs> and ah, oh, Nirvana! <laughs> you put it back. You have to do it again, and that's yeah. the first week. And afterwards, you say, well. Just let's go for Ria yeah. and keep it like this. 
this yeah. will open up your yeah. full library uh, without breaking a sweat. Yeah, and, and the, the other nice thing with the 72 equalization curves, I don't care what records you have from the 40s, from the 50s, through the 60s to today, there's the, the standard RIAA and there's like DECAs and so, Columbia's. So many other and, ones. Yeah, and mono. I mean, there's so many curves that you can really dial into what they thought they were capturing on the record that doesn't necessarily sound the way they wanted it to with the standard RIAA curve. So it's for those of you with deep collections, nobody here has a deep record collection. Um, for those of you with deep record collections, it's going to be really, really a, a, a game changer, I think. So. This will be coming soon. You'll get a separate review of this, guys. I probably will do a print review and a, a video review wow. for everybody. Wow, okay, cool. Um, because this is such an exciting product for me. Um, I can't tell you. Um, with that, gentlemen... And it is shipping now. Yeah, it's, it's available. It's, it's available. actually available yep. at that great price. So, yeah. Because I really am excited about what this thing's going to do. And the fact that it's so remarkably well priced is kind of... I don't know any... any anything that compete that with that. offers that all of this. Under 10 grand? Well, forget about the price. Is there anything out there that offers that all, all, all the equalization curves of all the studios? That versatility. That's yeah. what that does. Yeah. And, well, and it sounds phenomenal. I was just going yeah. to say, we there should, talk, we should yeah. talk about the sound. You did hear it yes. with the with the, Cro with the Kronos uh, Sparta, the Chronoscope RS yeah. cartridge, my son, or my, is our Mysonic Lab cartridge. Yeah. Uh, AudioNet Humboldt, the Humboldt. The, uh, the the Vivid uh, Threes, right? G, G3 Series 2, and it was all wired up with Kabbalah yep. Sosna uh, elation cabling. So you heard it, yeah. and really a world-class reference well, system, and... It, well, that's why I said, can I get one of these to play with? I said, give me, can I get six weeks, maybe? You know, and, and we're going to work that out, because I really want to hear this. Not that it didn't sound fabulous here. But I want to have it in the reference of where well, I'm used to hearing it. Yes, exactly. And it just, you know, I'm so excited to play with some of these utilities, especially if just sitting in my chair. That's going to be nuts, guys. Listen, awesome. thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, well, thanks again for taking the time, buddy. It's great cool. spending the weekend with you. Bill, Appreciate thanks it, again. Buddy. Travel safely. Till next time, everybody. We'll see you again. My sincere thanks to Bill for taking the time to produce and share that Mola Mola app experience video, which clearly shows the configurability and versatility of this new and exciting phono stage from Holland. And guys, beyond its unbelievable flexibility and convenience, sonically, it was superb. Um, staging and imaging were realistically presented and properly sized. Tonal balance seemed faultless. And its ability to present dynamic scaling and shading was unflappable in Room 3 at GTT, which featured the Kronos Sparta turntable, powered by the Sparta Super Capacitor Power Supply, using the Chronoscope Resonance Suppression Tone Arm, a MySonic Lab cartridge, feeding the Mola Mola Lupe, which in turn then handed off to an AudioNet Humboldt integrated amplifier to drive the Vivid Audio Gia G3 Series 2 loudspeakers, all connected with Kabbalah Sosna Elation Series cables. Now, I've provided this detailed equipment list and its pricing in today's description section for those who are interested. I am so looking forward to getting the $9,850 Mola Mola Lupe Phono Stage into my big rig to really get a handle on what it can do. Watch for my full evaluation to follow here sometime soon. As always, thanks for taking the time to drop by. Further information on supporting the channel may be found in today's description section or at my website, theaudioanalyst.com. Please stay safe and keep the music playing. Till next time, cheers.